here in this video we are going to learn about gray code and the conversion of gray code so without wasting time let's get started here you can see a table where we have represented gray code corresponding to 8421 code and a decimal numbers basically gray code is a binary numeral system where two consecutive numbers differ by only one bit so now to understand this let's take an example so this is the table of bcd code let's see if we move from 5 to 6 how many bits we supposed to change in binary code so this is the binary of 5 and this is the binary of 6 so here you can see the lsp changes the next bit to lsb changes these two bits remains the same and these two bits remains the same so in this example when we move from 5 to 6 there is change in two bits now similarly we check for gray code when we move from 5 to 6 how many bits we supposed to change so this is the lsb which is remains as it is now this bit changes and remaining two bits stay as it is that means when we move to next digit there is only change in one bit remaining three bit stay as it is now let's take another example in binary code when we move from 7 to 8 let's check how many bits we need to change it is 1 it becomes 0 so we need to make one change it is another change another change and another change so in binary code when we move from 7 to 8 we need to change all four bits whereas if we take the similar example in gray code then we supposed to make only one change in the most significant bit the remaining three bit stay as it is so in gray code when you move in consecutive sequence you will observe change in only and only one bit and this is why this gray code is known as unit distance code this gray code is even known as reflected binary codes and minimum error code now because of previously mentioned advantages binary code is replaced by gray code for several applications it is widely used in digital communication systems like tv it is also used in rotary encoders and it is also used in various applications where sequential encoding is necessary now after exploring this basic information about gray code let's explore the gray code conversion so in this section we are going to understand how to convert binary code into gray code so to understand this let's take an example it is a binary number 0101 so let's see how to convert this binary into gray code it is a simple few step process in step number one you supposed to place g3 is the same as b3 now the question is what is g3 and what is b3 so b3 is the msb of binary code and g3 is the msb of gray code so this is the b3 the msb of binary code so as per step number one the msb of gray code will be the same as msb of binary code so we'll write another zero over here so this will be our g3 so now we'll go for step number two in step number two we'll find g2 of gray code so basically it is the xor operation of b2 and b3 so it is our b2 so b2 xor b3 xor operation of these two will gives us g2 but now here the question is how to do the xor operation so in this video i'm not going to explain in detail how to do the xor operation but i'll give you a table of xor operation and i'll give you a trick of xor operation so here is the table of xor operation when both the input of xor gate is same the output is zero and when both the input of xor gate is different the output is one so now let's check here we are going to do b2 xor b3 so it is b2 xor b3 so both the input are different and when both the input are different the output is one so b2 xor b3 will be one now we'll go for step number three repeat the same so we are going to repeat the same process so here we are going to do b1 xor b2 so b1 and b2 they both are different and when the both input are different the output is one so we'll write one over here now again we are going to repeat the same process now again we are going to follow the same process b0 xor b1 when both the digit are different we are going to write one 
So the final answer is 0, 1, 1, 1. And let's check this out whether it is correct or not. 0, 1, 0, 1 is actually decimal phi. So this phi is 0, 1, 0, 1. And gray code equivalent to this is 0, 1, 1, 1. So that's how you can convert binary to gray. To better understand it, let's take one more example. This is our new binary number 1100. It is B3, B2, B1. So in step number 1, B3 is equal to G3. So we are going to write this one as it is. This one as it is. In next step, we are going to do B2, XOR, B3. So when both the input are same, the output of XOR operation is 0. So G2 will be 0. In next step, B1, XOR, B2, when both the input are different, output is 1. In next step, B0, XOR, B1, when both the input are same, output is 0. So this is our final converted gray code. So let's check it out. 1100 0, 0 is actually 12. So 12, 1100 0, 0, and the gray code equivalent to 12 is 1010. 0, 0. So that's how you can convert binary code into gray code. And now here there is two quick question for you. Pause the video and convert these two binary numbers into gray code. Write your answer in comments. I'll verify and respond to you whether it is correct or not. Once you are done with the commenting, then we'll move forward. So in this section, we are going to understand how to convert gray code into binary code. So first of all, we'll take a gray code 1001. This is a gray code and we'll check what are the steps to convert gray code to binary code. In step number 1, B3 is equal to G3. Now what is G3? G3 is the MSB of gray code. So the MSB of binary code will be the same as MSB of gray code. So we'll write this one as it is over here. Now we'll go for step number 2. B2 is equal to B3 XOR G2. Now here it is interesting part. B3 that means this one. G2 that means this one. So here the things are getting interesting. To get B2, you supposed to do XOR operation of B3 and G2. So the XOR operation of these two will give you B2. So here is the table of XOR operation. So now let's do it. 1 XOR 0. 1 XOR 0 gives us 1. So we'll write 1 over here. Now let's see what is the step number 3. Repeat the same. So we are going to repeat the same process. So again we are going to do B2 XOR G1. So when both input are different, output will be 1. So here there is 1. Again we will follow the same process. B1 XOR G0. So when both the inputs are same, output will be 0. So binary equivalent to this gray code is 1110. So 1001 gray code is for 14. And binary equivalent to 14 is 1110. To better understand this, let's take one more example. This is our gray code G3, G2, G1, G0. So as per step number 1, B3 of binary code is same as G3 of gray code. So this MSB we are going to write as it is. So 0 as it is. Now in next step B3 XOR G2. When both are different we will write 1 over here. So here we have 1. Now in next step B2 XOR G1. So 1 XOR 1 0. Now in next step B1 XOR G0. So 0 XOR 0 is 0. So 0, 1, 0, 0 is the binary equivalent to this gray code and that you can see over here. So here again you have two quick questions for you. Convert these two gray code into binary and write that thing in comments below. I'll check your comment and then respond to you whether it is correct or not. So see you into the next interesting and very useful video of this playlist. And to jump to the next video, click to this link. And yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. So see you into the next video.